The landscape around the lagoons is made up almost entirely of cereal fields. These lands have also been protected, and not only because they provide food for the birds that visit the reserve. The great buster, the largest flying bird in Europe, lives here too. The Yafafila has the most important bustard colony in the world. Around 2,000 of these birds live in the region on a permanent basis. At different times of the year, flocks of bustards move around within the region in search of the best pastures, but the relatively benign climate means that emigration is unnecessary. The bustard lives in open spaces, here it finds the pastures it needs, and any predators can be easily located in time to make a quick escape. Its diet is composed of plant stems, leaves, and seeds. In the spring, it complements this diet with small animals which provide it with proteins. This extra energy will help it during the courting and mating seasons. Both sexes have a similar plumage, but the male may be twice the size of the female. In addition, it has some characteristic feathers on its neck called ruffs, which make it unmistakable. The bustard lives on the ground. Its weight, males can weigh up to 18 kilos, puts it on the borderline as far as its ability to fly is concerned. Whenever it can, it prefers to walk. Its flights are short and normally close to the ground. Its population levels fell dramatically all over Europe when uncontrolled hunting and the irrigation of land and the consequent changes in crops brought this species to the verge of extinction. The bustard disappeared in Switzerland, England, Denmark, Sweden and most of France. In Spain too, population levels fell drastically. Only after their ecosystems were protected and hunting was prohibited was this process halted. The conservation of lagoons such as Villa Fafila has been of fundamental importance. In contrast to what happens in other colonies in Europe, the Spanish bustards do not immigrate. They can complete their life cycle in the wetlands without depending on the conservation of other regions. The reproduction period for bustards is in the spring. Groups divide up according to sex, and the males also stand apart from each other. Each suitor searches for a hillock or a place where the females can see him. Once he has chosen his stage, the courting begins. The fields are filled with males doing their displays. The neck swells up to double its normal diameter. They twist up their wings and unfurl their tails to show off the white feathers inside. Each male continues its courting display alone until a female shows interest and approaches him. And here is the first one. Fights between males do not occur very often, and when they do, the rivals do not suffer serious injuries. 
In many cases, a comparative demonstration of strength is sufficient to make one of the males give up, although, as you can see, this is not always the case. Via Fafila is one of the last places in Europe where the great bustard can feel safe. The protection of the ecosystem and the prohibition of hunting have given this endangered bird a breathing space. Like the geese and the cranes, the great bustards have found a place to rest in these saltwater lagoons. The lands, which for man had been a symbol of horrible diseases, have turned out to be a unique and irreplaceable ecosystem for many birds, a paradise hidden among the fields of the cold Castilian steppes. <laughs> 